This is the first in a three-part series about the Xilinx Zinc 7000 and Micrium's Microsoft OS 3 real-time operating system. You will explore how to configure and use Micrium's RTOS to target an embedded system using the Zinc 7000. You'll learn how to generate a basic hardware design targeting the Zinc 7000 using the Vivado IP integrator. You will install, configure, and generate the Microsoft OS BSP for your hardware. And finally, you'll find out how to use various hardware components with the Micrium Anxiety drivers. So, let's get started. From the Vivado main screen, click Create New Project. You're now presented with the new project wizard. Click Next. Choose a name and location for the new project and click Next. In this tutorial, you'll start from a blank RTL project and there is no source to be added at this time. In the screen, you can select either a specific part or board. For this tutorial, you should select the board that you are using. I'm currently using a ZC702, so I'll select that and click Finish. This brings you to the Vivado project summary. To configure the Zinc system for use in this tutorial, you'll want to use the IP integrator to create a Zinc design. To do so, create a new block design now. You are then prompted to name this block design. You're now presented with a blank canvas to create your design. The first step is to add the Zinc IP to your design. To do so, right-click in the block design and select Add IP. The IP list opens up. Search for the Zinc IP by typing Zinc in the search box and select the Zinc 7 processing system. Double-click the IP name to add it to the design. The Zinc IP block now appears in the design. You will notice that a message is displayed at the top of the schematic view. This message is telling us that block automation is available. You can use block automation to automatically connect and configure the Zinc IP block for the target board. So let's do that right now by clicking the Run Block Automation message. Keep the default options and click OK. During block automation, Vivado connected up the external DDR memory and the processor system's fixed IOs. The Zinc block can be customized further for your design's needs. To customize a block, either double-click the block or right-click and select Customize Block. By default, the clocks, bus, and I.O. configuration should be suitable for this design. The only configuration required is to enable the FPGA to PS interrupts to permit routing interrupt signals from the programmable logic to the processor system. In the interrupts, enable the Fabric interrupts and then the IRQF2P interrupts. It is not recommended to use the legacy IRQ and FIQ signals with the Microsoft USB SP. For this demonstration, two timers are needed in the FPGA. To add timers, follow the same step as before by right-clicking and selecting Add IP. This time, search for a timer and add an AXI timer to the design. We also need a second timer, so add another one. Like before, Vivado signals us that automation is available. This time, it says connection automation for the AXI timers. Let's use that to automatically connect the timers. In the connection automation dialog, you can see the two timers. If you click on the AXI timer 0 slave interface, you can see that Vivado can connect the interface to the AXI master port GP0 of the Zinc IP block. So let's enable connection automation for these slave interfaces. Automation connected both of the AXI timers to the PS through an AXI interconnect. In addition, proper base addresses were assigned to both timers automatically. All that's left to do for the two timers is to connect their interrupt signals. They can be routed to the PS using a concatenation IP available from the catalog. The output of the concatenation block should go to the IRQF2P input of the Zinc block, while the interrupts of both timers should be connected to the inputs. 
Your design is now complete. Make sure to run the validation to verify that no errors are present in the project. Now, save the design. Before moving on, you must generate the output products and wrapper for your IP integrator design. From the source view, right click on the design and select Generate Output Products. Then click Generate. After it's done, right click again and select Generate HDL Wrapper. Allow Vivado to manage the wrappers and click OK. The design now needs to be synthesized, implemented, and a bitstream generated. Since there is no post synthesis and post implementation steps to perform, you can simply click on Generate Bitstream. Vivado will automatically perform synthesis and implementation as needed. After everything is done, Vivado offers the choice of opening the implemented design. The implementation summary is available along with resource usage, timing, and the floor plan. The design is now ready to be exported to the Xilinx SDK. This is done from the File menu. Under Export, click Export Hardware. You want to include the bitstream, so select it and then click OK. Finally, Use the launch SDK command to continue the tutorial. In the first section of this tutorial, you built a hardware design suitable for the MicroCOS BSP. The hardware design was generated and exported to the SDK. From here, you can start your software design. In the next section, you will see how to install the MicroCOS BSP, generate and compile it, and then debug a sample application.